generally speaking, we tend to prefer self-directed, self-paced e-learning courses for uncanny LP sites. Facilitation is definitely an option. It is possible, it's just not quite as fluid. One of the ways that you can offer facilitated programs is by offering assignments and making them available from lesson pages. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what assignments look like, how to set them up, how users interact with them, how administrators or group leaders would then interact with the assignments and provide feedback, and then we can talk about uh, the, the learner experience through that. So to get started, I'm going to jump into an existing lesson that's already been created as part of uh, another screencast. So let's go in here and let's go and take a look at one of the samples that I, that I set up. So let's do this uh, editor example lesson. I'm going to edit that lesson now. And if we're using the built-in capability for assignments here, so this isn't forms or anything else, if we're using what's there for assignments, it's just a matter of checking off this box. So let's check off that box. And again, if, if you have questions about these things, if you're not sure what they do, then you can uh, just click on the question marks and that will give you more information about it. So why might you want to click auto approve? Um, if your course is set up with lesson progression so that learners have to go through it linearly from beginning to end and they have to complete everything before they can move forward, submitting an assignment and waiting for feedback would halt that process. So if this is not checked and you've got lesson progression turned on, users cannot move forward um, until they've been given feedback then on the assignment. So I'm going to, just, just for the, I'm going to show this one, um, I'm just going to add some of these options um, so you can see what they do. So I'm awarding points. I'm not going to auto approve it though. So let's go ahead and update that. And now what I want to do, first uh, let's, let's switch users. I'm going to switch users so we can see this as a regular learner. Before I do that, I just want to make sure that users will be able to access it. So to make sure of that, I want to check the course price type, which is open, which means anyone can use it. Enrollment is not required. So let's switch back then to users. And I'm going to go to a list of all users in the system. This is a test system, so there are a lot of random users. I'm going to use this one right here, which is a test user. I'm going to switch to that user, go to my courses. So I'm going to go back in straight to editor example lesson. And when I go in there now, it's going to have the content I originally added, plus this new upload area. So I can now upload an assignment. So normally, of course, if you're setting up your own lesson with an assignment, you're going to want some kind of instruction. So um, information about you know this area here, maybe you want to say, um, as part of this lesson, you will need to submit an assignment. This is what's required for the assignment. Uh, create the document in another application, save it, and then use the tool below to upload it into the system, at which point you know we'll review it and grade it. All right, so I'm going to pick a random file here. I'm just going to use, uh, let's use an image. So I don't know what this one is. Actually, it's probably too big, but let's use it anyway. And we will upload that. Let's say it was the creation of a media file was the assignment. So I'll go ahead and upload that. This is a pretty big file, so it's going to take a minute to do that. And once I do that, then it's going to reload the page. And you can see that a file has now been uploaded for the student and points awarded is pending because of course the instructor has not had a chance to review that. So now that I've done that as a, a learner, what I want to go back and do is view this as an instructor now. So what I will do is I'm going to switch. In this case, again, the, the user switching does complicate things a little bit because I'm not an admin and on this site I, I did hide the ability to switch easily. All right, so I'm signed back in again and what I want to do is take a look at the assignments that are waiting for me. So let's take a look at what I did. So here's the one that was published a minute ago. You can see it is waiting for a score out of 10. 
uh, here. So uh, that's outstanding, and I need to go into it and see what this user actually did. So let's take a look. What did this user upload then? So they uploaded this image of someone clicking answers in a multiple choice test. So that's what it looks like. Um, that's what the assignments looks like. What I want to do now though is go back in here. Now this can be a little bit confusing, but what I want to do is edit that after I've viewed it. And when I edit it, it is a little confusing because it does look like a regular post page, so it might seem like there's an opportunity to add content. But instead what I want to do, and the first thing I'll do here is make sure that comments are on <clears throat> so that I can add a comment. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add a comment and I'm going to say this looks great. I will add that comment. And then the next thing I will do is give them 9 out of 10. And then I will update and approve that. So at this point it's been updated. Comments have been saved. And now if I switch back to the user, which I'm going to do now, then I can take a look at exactly how that worked. So the user I was testing with again is this user here. So I'm going to switch to that user. I'm going to go back to where I left off. So I would submitted this and it's been approved. So it's that also marked it as completed by doing that. And now I can go in and I can see the comment that was provided here. It's a little bit confusing, but this is essentially how it works. You can see the points awarded here as well. So if I wanted to see the original, um, the original assignment again, I could see it here. And then, uh, and then the comments are here for the learner as well. It works the same way if you're a group leader. So we haven't really talked about groups at all at this point, but there is a concept in LearnDash for, and on the, the LP platform, for uh, organizing users into groups. Um, and then within groups, there can be roles called group leaders. Those group leaders then, who are not administrators for the site, they could be representatives from a client organization that represents a lot of users. Those group leaders can go in they are also able to retrieve and grade assignments for members of their groups. So their experience in managing assignments is very similar to what I just showed as an administrator. At this point, I'm going to close the screencast. We have covered a brief introduction to assignments, so how to set them up, how a learner submits something, so it's always a document upload, how an administrator or a group leader would go in and provide feedback and also grade the assignments if they were graded, and then what the, uh, the learner sees in the front end. So hopefully that helps, and um, next we're going to talk about certificates in more detail.